Here we go. We're live, boys. We made it. We're in the Pokemon conference right now. I don't know what the fuck is good. What the fuck are they going to reveal? Who knows? But um, it's time. We've reached it. It started. Three, two, one. Oh my god, that's loud. Bro, I gotta go through two more of these. I finished this one. Hey! Hey! Sucks, thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. おはようございます。株式会社ポケモンの西原です。ポケモンハロ。アニシハロ Today, I would like to reveal some upcoming Pokemon projects that we are working on with our partners to give you a preview of the future of Pokemon. Sword and Shield! Here's my YouTube link. You didn't send it, bro. What? You didn't send me your link. Dog, you didn't send me your link. It fucked up. Come on, man. I'm trying to give y'all love out here. I'm trying to give y'all nine out here. I can't even take it. As you can already tell, our announcements today will be made not just in Japanese and English, but also in Chinese. This is because going forward, we plan to deliver more of our services to Pokemon fans who are native speakers of Chinese. I got you. Got you. I'm a Maju, bro. I'm a Maju. I got you, bro. I'm glad I finally got your fucking YouTube link. Thank you. I'm gonna do it. To simultaneous translation. I'm gonna do it. First, I would like to talk about movies, including Pokemon's first Hollywood film, Detective Pikachu. Oh, I don't want to talk about. Is that the Pikachu? Mr. Matsuoka. Come on. On stage. Come on, give me something to be excited about. I don't want to talk about Detective Pikachu. Who cares? Good morning, everyone. Yo, Alexander Zenos, I got you. I'm this glad you said This is a bit of a sudden announcement. But the day after tomorrow, Assuming the motion is approved, I will be appointed as an external board member to the Pokemon Company's Board of Directors. I look forward to working more closely with the company. As you all know, Detective Pikachu de debuted in theaters on May 3rd and has received a lot of praise around the world. It was okay. I liked it. I liked it. As a movie it based a on a movie. Japanese IP, it's right up there with Godzilla in terms of box office success. <laughs> Toho. Toho was an investor in the Detective Pikachu project, and we also handled the distribution in Japan. We have this summer's movie coming up, and we look forward to take on new creative challenges alongside Pokemon and the movie business in the future. It was okay. Fit. It was decent. It wasn't a bad movie. It wasn't a bad movie. Well, I shouldn't be promoting the new Godzilla movie here today. Come on. Kaiju. For those who want to see Ken Watanabe on the big screen again, I hope you will find your way to theaters starting the day after tomorrow. Thank you. Back to you, Mr. Ishihara. 
Mr. Masoka, thank you. Mewtwo? Mewtwo! My dick! It was nice of you to so casually insert that bit of news that was so completely unrelated to Pokemon. Thank you. Is this live? They're doing this live. The Detective Pikachu movie I got was you, based bros. on a Nintendo 3DS game of the same name. I'm going to be modding everybody. Well, the niggas that sent me, I'm going to be putting your channels in. The original creation of Pokemon called Creatures developed it. The 3DS game story Nigga's ended stuttering. on a bit of a cliffhanger. But the conclusion to the story will finally be coming to Nintendo Switch. Whoa! I hope fans will look forward to seeing a different take on the ending to the story than what you saw in theaters. K-Man Rock. K-Man, I got you. Uh, I got you, K-Man. At Chiangai Airport in Singapore, which is one of the premier airports in Asia, a massive commercial facility called Jewel was opened. Jewel? Jewel? Within Jewel, we opened Pokemon Center Singapore. This store represents our flagship location in the region. Pokemon centers are not just shops for Pokemon products. They represent fun spaces for Pokemon fans to gather and enjoy a variety of software and hardware services. Dual gang. To tell you more about future initiatives for Pokemon Center, I would like to invite the president of Pokemon Center, Mr. Uego, onto stage. Nine thousand viewers. We got nine thousand viewers. I'm Uego from Pokemon Center. Today's conference is being held in the Shibuya district of Tokyo, Shibuya. which is a major cultural center of Japan and world-renowned tourist destination. Oh, I got you. And it will see the Shibuya Parko Shopping Center open soon, which will also be the home of our newest Pokemon Center that we are calling Pokemon Center Shibuya. We are planning to open at the same time as Shibuya Parko in fall of this year. We go into Japan. Pokemon Center is being built under a new concept. We got to go to Japan, boys. We got to we got to bring the nine to Japan. And with support from other partners, will surely become not just a place to shop, to shop, but an exciting destination for Pokemon fans to visit. Please take a look at the short video it shows off the concept. Whoa! You two? You can see in the video, the new location will feature a stylish black design with a Mewtwo statue positioned Whoa. at the entrance. That's pretty. That's pretty. We look forward to delivering a new Pokemon Center experience that visitors will want to tell their friends and family about, and also building a mutually enriching relationship with the town of Shibuya you can bring and the Shibuya Parko Shopping Center. You can bring a bitch there. Center. Back to you, Mr. Ishara. You, you can bring a bitch there. Thank you. It's the fuck. In the same Shibuya Parko Queen Savory, I shopping got you. center, in Savory, which we are opening I got you. our I got you. Pokemon Center, Parko. it was recently announced that Beep there are plans for a Nintendo Tokyo store to open. We want Nintendo Tokyo and Pokemon Center Shibuya to be good partners and are working on collaborations to provide even more, better experiences to customers of both locations. With Pokemon Center, and Nintendo Tokyo, we look forward to seeing Shibuya Parko become a destination for fans of video games Shibuya Parko. to gather and enjoy great experiences. So, they're opening up a park, a Pokemon park. I'd like park. to invite our next guest on stage, Mr. Ethan Wong from NetEase. Hey, hey, hey. They made the place from Persona 5? Hi everyone. High school to rascal, hold on. NetEase. NetEase is the second High largest school. game developer in the My world boy. with an annual active user base of over 550 million Ask globally. Savory, I got you. Savory, I got you. NetEase has developed over 200 games in multiple genres with massive popularity. Up to this April, 
Four of the top ten most popular games in China are made by NetEase. Since the very beginning, we've always been dedicated to creating the best and innovative games for game lovers. Today, we are honored to announce that we are releasing the first official Pokemon games in China, Pokemon Quest. Let's oh! Please look at screen. Please look at screen. <laughs> Please look at screen. Pokemon Quest China will preserve the core experience of the global version while adding PvP and social system. Over 1.7 million players have already pre-registered for the game and we've seen a lot of enthusiasm among fans. We will continue to work closely with the Pokemon Company and Game Freak on Pokemon Quest China, creating this game with our passion. Please look at screen. In the future, we will bring more interesting Please Pokemon look at games screen. into China. Please stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ethan Wong. The development of this powered-up version of Pokemon Quest is progressing at a speed I haven't seen before in Japan, and I continue to be amazed by NetEase's technical ability. And they all love Pokemon, too, making this very much a, a passion project for the team. At Pokemon, we believe we have found a great partner with NetEase. Why are you stumbling for? Why is he stumbling? Let me to welcome another guest. Look at screen. For our next announcement. Please look at screen. Please look at screen. I'm too sleepy. Mas Masuda! Masuda! Hey, Hello, everyone. I'm Masuda from Game Freak. <laughs> Today, I'm here to talk about the future of Pokemon. Pokemon was born as a video game for the Game Boy and has evolved into a wide variety of I got you, bro. I'll decide if I want my I don't know you that well, but I'll decide. I don't know you that well. With the release of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee for Nintendo Switch, as well as Pokemon Go, we have also seen a large number of new players who are experiencing Pokemon for the very first time. As a result, in recent years, the world of Pokemon has become broader than we could have ever imagined before. Why are you looking down? Look at us! At the same time, we also have a great many players who have gone from Game Boy Advance to Nintendo DS and also on to Nintendo 3DS using the connectivity features yeah, got 3DS to bring their Pokemon with them on adventures through various regions Sword along the way. Sword and Shield got 3DS graphics. These Pokemon exist beyond just a single game or hardware device and have become irreplaceable to their trainers. This special relationship is something unique to the Pokemon world. With so many different parts of this Pokemon world, we wanted to make a single location where they could all come together and use that to deliver a new experience that not only connects Pokemon with a variety of games, but also pl connects players with each other. I don't want to look at the Pokemon screen. Pokemon Home. Pokemon Home? The fuck? The concept behind Pokemon Home is to be a place where all Pokemon can gather. What? We're developing it as a cloud service that will work with smartphone devices and Nintendo Switch, and it will allow you to bring over the Pokemon that have shared in your adventures. Whoa! On Nintendo 3DS, we created a Google Home, Google Home, a service, a Pokemon, a, a service called Pokemon Bank that allowed players to bring Pokemon from past games into the latest series of the games on the system. This better not be the new game. Home, go with Pokemon Home. We aim to leave behind the boundaries of a single system and allow for players to connect with Pokemon Bank. This translator be fucking up. Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. The upcoming Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games, and also Pokemon Go. And we will, of course, take care, take great care to preserve the value that each of these Pokemon have to their trainers. And in the future, the content in which you can play with your Pokemon will continue to expand even further. 
Pokemon Home will also feature trading functionality, allowing you to trade anytime, anywhere, as long as you have your smartphone with you. Trade with your friends face to face or with anyone else from around the world over the internet. And getting a large number of people in a single location together to trade all at once is another cool feature we're looking into implementing. Cool. Pokemon on your cell phone? As the place where all Pokemon can gather, wow. we plan to launch it in early 2020. That's kind of cool. On your cell phone, you can trade Pokemon? Wow. We're working hard to create a new future for people and their Pokemon, so I hope you'll look forward to it. We also plan to reveal more news about Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield on June 5th next week at 6 a.m. on Pacific Pacific time in a special Pokemon Direct, so please do not miss it. Yeah, we're here for that. That's the, that's where we need Thank to be. Thank you, Mr. Masuda. We're waiting for that. Come through. We're going to stream that. Next, uh, please take a look at this video. Please look at the screen. Please look at screen. Whoa! Whoa, what's this? Old, new, old people playing Pokemon? I don't care if it's Pokemon Go! I don't care if this is Pokemon Go! Oh, it's Pokemon Go! I don't give a fuck! I don't give a fuck! Uh. Pokemon Go too? <laughs> Pokemon made walking into entertainment. Our daily life has become more colorful, active, and fulfilling. I stopped playing in 2016. But this is just the beginning. Pokemon could enrich our everyday lives even further. Pokemon Go too? Don't say Pokemon Go too. Oh god. Someone said Pokemon go to hell? Did you see that flash of lightning? Pikachu will suck your dick? Oh god. Pika Pika. Pokemon go to the poles. Pokemon transforms sleeping into entertainment? Well, I guess I'm ahead of the game. Exploring the real world was one of the themes of Pokemon Go and through that game Pokemon trainers all around the world began to spend more time walking outdoors we believe we are able to take the simple human act of walking and turn it into entertainment for many people around the world Pokemon go to sleep Pokemon go to sleep, nigga! This conference is boring After walking, me. we decided to focus on the act of sleeping. Pokemon go to sleep! Why sleep? Why are you focusing on sleep in Pokemon? Everyone spends a large part of their lives sleeping, and turning that into entertainment I've been sleeping on challenge at Pokemon. I've been sleeping on Sword and Shield! Why do you look like 3DS? I would like to talk a little bit about how Pokemon plans to take on this task. Of sleeping? First, Why do I want to? They want me to fuck my Lopunny? I would like to Pokemon sleep with your Pokemon? Developing a new game called Pokemon, Pokemon Sleep. sleep? That uses your time spent sleeping to affect what gameplay. What the fuck? They want you to fuck Pikachu? The game is being created with the help of Select Button, who developed Pokemon Magikarp Jump. The concept of this game. Who wanted this? To look forward to waking up every morning. Pokemon Sleep. Pokemon Sleep, I'd sleep with her, utilizes information such as the player's time spent sleeping or the time they wake up to create a new kind of entertaining gameplay. We plan to release Pokemon Sleep in 2020. What the fuck are you gonna do with it? How can I play the game and enjoy it when I'm sleeping? Pokemon Sleep. We are also working alongside Nintendo and Niantic to find more ways yeah, to turn image. resting into gameplay. Asura, resting into gameplay? 
What the fuck are they First, doing over there? Let's have Nintendo come on stage to tell us more about a new device that they are working on. A new device? Please welcome Mr. Mariyama from Nintendo. Is it a sex toy? I'm Mariyama from Nintendo. I'm in charge of device development. Do you all remember this device? Yes, we know. We get it. You made a lot of money on Pokemon Back in 2016, Go. In this Pokemon Go Plus was developed as a device to be used with Pokemon Go. It was made to enhance the Pokemon Go experience, and many trainers out there continue to enjoy using it to this day. It barely worked! It, has helped many it was so laggy! More active in their Pokemon Go adventures. That shit barely worked. That was okay. And last year, we released the Pokeball Plus device, which included all of the Pokemon Go Plus functionality. Could also be used as could also be used with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee on Nintendo Switch. As this a translator's fucking up. It also allowed trainers to put their favorite Pokemon inside the device and take them for walks. Or you could put the device inside of your ass. Pokemon Vibrator. It let us deliver a gameplay experience across multiple hardware platforms. Pokemon's initiative to turn sleep into entertainment is one we support at Nintendo. Nigga said I can finally sleep. a new device for it. That we're calling Pokemon Go Plus Plus. After we finished development of the Pokeball Plus, Mr. Ishihara approached us with a new idea and we began working on it together. Does does that go up my ass? As you can probably tell from the name, this device can also be used as a standard Pokemon Go Plus device. Use it as a Pokemon Go Plus while you're walking about during the day to be notified of nearby Pokestops via the did LED just, and vibrations. Did the translator just giggle? And at night, you can put it on your bed and fuck Pikachu. It will attract simple information about how long you sleep. I don't give a fuck! This is accomplished by the embedded accelerometer, and the results are sent to your smartphone via Bluetooth technology. It looked like an ass plug! <laughs> by combining these sleep Pokemon features plus with the plus? functionality of a Pokemon Go Plus, you mean Pokemon F minus? This device can help transform both the time spent walking about during the day and also the time spent sleeping at night into something more fun and enriching for everyone. Who's gonna put that on their bed? I'm gonna roll over That's and crush that shit. For today. Back, back to you, Mr. Ishihara. I'm gonna roll over and crush that Thank shit. Thank you, Mr. Mariyama. What if I'm fucking a bitch in my bed? We're gonna fuck that shit up. I'll get semen on it. We also believe there are opportunities to incorporate resting into the gameplay of Pokemon Go to make gonna... it a more fun and fulfilling experience. Fun and, and we're working with Niantic to explore new ideas. Let's have Niantic CEO, Mr. John Hankey, talk more about their involvement. Pokemon thinks we want to play games while we sleep? What the fuck are they doing over there? Sleeping? Sleeping is not what they're making, they're making games Hello, on I'm sleeping! John from Niantic. Niantic pioneered a new kind of gaming by turning the whole world into a game board where we can all play and explore. By creating a new way to see the world and an incentive to go outside and exercise, we hoped to encourage a healthy lifestyle and to make a positive impact on our players, 
and on the world. We're delighted to be working with the Pokemon Company on their efforts to encourage another part of a healthy lifestyle. Todd Howard. Getting a good night's rest. Oh. At Niantic, we love exploring the world on foot. How do they talk about rest? You look like you didn't get no rest. happen unless we have the energy to embark on these adventures. We're excited to find ways to reward good sleep habits in Pokemon Go as part of a healthy lifestyle. You'll be hearing more from us on this in the future. There's one more thing. How are you going to make games? Some sleep? of you may have noticed that Snorlax is particularly excited about this development. So excited that he's decided to take a nice, relaxing nap. Look around in Pokemon Go, and you may find a snoozing Snorlax just waiting to be collected. Remember when the nigga got don't trampled? Don't wait too long. Once our sleeping Remember? Snorlax wakes up, he may disappear. That's it from Niantic on the subject of sleep. I'll hand it back to you, Mr. Ishihara. Remember when, no, there, was, no, remember when there was a mob and they almost killed this kid? Thank you, John. John just said something about a sleeping Snorlax in Pokemon Go. Pokemon Company sleeping right now. They're the and ones asleep. Some of you there may be ready to pull out your smartphones right now to check it out, but please I'm let me have your attention for just a little bit longer. I'm pulling out my pillow. I'm sure that by the end of our presentation today, no, Snorlax will start appearing in the game. I'm pulling out my pillow. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Our mission at the Pokemon Company is to enrich both the real world and the virtual world with. Pokemon characters. With that in mind, after having done so with walking, we now turn our focus to make sleeping more enriching for everyone. Even the translator's we laughing. Have to turn sleep into ter entertainment. The translator is laughing himself. He knows this it is a joke. That's all for our sleep-related initiative. He's like, what the fuck, sleeping? For our final announcement today. I would like to show off just a little bit company. more of the project that DNA recently announced we are working on together. They didn't announce... The, did that the Pikachu? The title is Pokemon Masters. This project began with an idea from Game Freak's Ken Sugimori to make a game that featured all of the past and present Pokemon trainers from the video games. <laughs> <laughs> Ken Sugimori also created this key art that represents the concept of the game. In Pokemon Masters, all of your favorite Pokemon trainers, as well as their partner Pokemon from the main series RPGs will appear. Development is still underway, but please take a look at some gameplay footage. Okay, we got some footage. Bonjour? Is it this Misty! Baby girl! Whoa! Whoa! Damn, nigga! Damn! Oh, shit! Wow! Pokemon Masters... Brock just went full be released Pillar Man! ...on Android and iOS in calendar year 2019. We plan to reveal more details in June next month. So please wait just a little bit longer while we prepare our announcement. Brock went deal mode! Wakanda! Wakanda so, what did you think? What did I think? There's, there's one more small thing I'd like to share with you all. Hmm? Hmm? What? What? Huh? All of today's presenters, including myself, are wearing what we call Pokemon shirts. The first 151 Pokemon that Pokemon Go also began with are featured in original fabric designs. 
Okay. These designs can be I'm kind of interested. Mixed and matched on a website to customize and order your very own shirt with this Pokemon shirts service. And this is these are some of the shirts that were made. Currently, this service began in Japan and is available in uh, only select Asian territories. I'd wear that. I'd wear that. Starting with North America and Europe, we plan to expand it to more regions around the globe. I like them. Please look forward to further details to be announced at a later date. You wear that to school, you're going to get all the pussy. And for everyone here to in attendance today, we also prepared a small souvenir using the Pokemon shirt's designs, so please pick it up on your way out. Pull up to the club, wear a Pokemon shirt, get all the numbers. Today, in order to give you a sense of what lies in Pokemon's future, we announced some projects that are still in development or planning phases. Okay. We getting hella pussy, boys. Those shirts are going to do it. They look good. We will reveal more details about each project separately, so please look forward to hearing more about each individual project at a later date. That's all for our announcements today. Thank you very much. Damn, they, they ended that shit real quick. Oh my god. Those shirts are about to make everybody in this squad a pussy magnet. I'm telling you. Listen, bitches love Pokemon. You throw that shirt on, bro. You go to the right place. Imagine that. You go, you go, you go to like a fucking party, bro. Game of common, bro. Nigga, you get sucked off right there. That was okay. I slept through most of it. The most interesting thing out of that conference was a fucking shirt. Good God almighty. That was actually legit. They think that we want to sleep with our Pokemon. Well, okay. Listen. We all have urges, okay? I don't want y'all judging niggas out here. There's furries in the chat. Listen, I know they 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 prob they they did it. They succumbed to DeviantArt. The Pokemon company has succumbed to DeviantArt. They think we want to fuck our Pokemon. I mean, listen, a Gardevoir, a Gardevoir looks good, but I mean, damn, a Lapini looks good, but I mean, damn, a Pikachu. Somebody in the chat literally said earlier they want to fuck Mewtwo. I mean, my dick got hard for Mewtwo in the past, yeah, but that doesn't mean I would fuck the nigga. Pokemon company, I don't know what's going on over there, bro. I'm a little concerned, bro. I hope that that fucking announcement on June 6th is actually going to be something crazy. But Nimpok saying, please look at screen. <laughs> oh, goodness. sleepy right now. Marcel, shout out to you, bro. Well, I'm feeling sleepy. I told you it was going to be a short stream. And I streamed. All I got was a good nap and a, all I got was this shirt. All I got was this shirt and a good nap. Good night, y'all. Good night. Good night. Hey, listen, man, I don't know what the fuck is going on over there in the Pokemon company, bro. But the niggas are, are convinced that we want to we wanna go to sleep and play a game. How are we going to play a game when we I don't know. They didn't even show us how it's going to work. They just told us, you're going to sleep. Yeah, I slept all right, nigga. You didn't even show us what the hell the game was going to look like. What the fuck you expect me to think? Hold on a second, bro. They, they really just showed that to us. I mean, if you're going to make a game about about focus on us sleeping bro at least give us a little bit of like a teaser as to how it actually will play out they were just like no pokemon you you sleep pokemon <laughs> sleep you sleep in pokemon <laughs> that's all they did what the fuck is going on i can sleep now i ain't woke no more um aurora you didn't miss shit 
All you missed on was a good night's rest. But you'll be able to do that tonight by yourself, dog. Niggas went to sleep in the stream. Literally. Literally, the Pokemon company. We lit I literally slept on that. Bro, I got up. I literally slept on the conference. Bruh. Off of the brick, man, I feel it so high. We not the same nigga, we different kinds. I keep doing these drugs, cause it keep me alive. I keep mad at the money, I wanna be so.